So how's it good everybody? My name is Armand and welcome back to another well zombie video I guess you can say guys. So again, thank you for tuning into the channel everybody that's here today. I really do appreciate the click. Uh, but today guys we'll be reacting to a trailer called the day before. So guys, this is a zombie game in the making. For some reason a lot of zombie games have been pretty much been created. We have well not the forest 2 since it's more like cannibalism or some weird things but we have that type of survival game. We have Dying Light 2 coming out. We have you know now this game being announced which is honestly pretty cool. I mean I pretty much found this game from a YouTube play, uh, channel called the hollow and he's again pretty popular in the gaming uh, community so when i saw this i saw like the first minute and i say wait let me pause this i actually want to give a genuine reaction and just see how this actually plays out but from the first minute i saw it just pretty much reminds me of daisy you know you come out you live with your buddies and you try to survive and blah 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 but again maybe this could be different than any of those other games that we've played so far so without further ado yeah let's just check this out i'll try not to talk too much during the video and we'll give a bit more insight at the end of the trailer so yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. The short gameplay demonstration trailer for hmm. the day before an upcoming open world multiplayer survival game. Okay. The day before features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. And game footage work in progress. Great, man. Awesome. So they're out of gas. Okay. We'll look around here, I guess. The game looks nice. I'm not gonna lie. The graphics are great. Shall we split up? Split up. Yep. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay. And I'll look around here. Gas in the skyscraper. All right. <laughs> you do you. All right. All right. I like the looting just because. You know, it reminds me of Death Frontier, F. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. I have found a great cowboy hat. I do like the inventory. Tell her everything's all right. <laughs> and there aren't any more guns in the valley. Easy, cowboy. Listen up. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. If you can hear this message, it means that we have opened our doors for new survivors. Oh. We can give you food and shelter and ensure your safety. Here are the coordinates. So I'll post, okay. That? That's cool. Yep, I, got a message too. I like the bottom Great. left corner. There's some uh, you know, freezing bike. energy, hydration, and of course your health. In the survivor colony, you can sell and buy any items as well as cooperate with mm. other players. Yeah, of course. Which is, should always have been intended from the beginning. But yeah, let's check out the interiors. I mean, obviously you're going to scope out the place first, but not me. I just don't care if I pretty much get to a point. But yeah, dude, just look at the interiors. It, it does remind me a little bit of Death Frontier 2, just looking at it. I guess there's so much interior playing, but... <laughs> I mean, regardless, though. It just obviously looks ten times better. The day before, you can enter abandoned buildings and take whatever you want. Of course. <laughs> Smack it once. The main thing is to be careful, because not all players are friendly. So one soda brings up the hydration. Ah, oh, see? PvP. Nah. Hopefully you can turn that off. I will hate to fight people every two seconds in this game. That will suck. But uh, let's see how this guy takes him on. I just where I stopped now. I want to see how she fought them. Let's see. The things are about to get heated. I mean, he has a pistol? I mean, I'm surprised they missed. Ah, oh, dude. Damn. Damn, bro. The aim. Oh, the guy chucks a grenade. And the grenade actually explodes in two seconds. It's gonna be hard to dodge or get out of the way for it. That blows up almost immediately. And the guy dips. I mean, not dip too. <laughs> two of my boys got killed by one guy. What a beast! They'll have assault rifles and shotguns. All this guy has is a pistol. This guy is a beast. Yeah, loot everything. Take everything. Yeah, for real, man. So this boy's getting overrun. Damn. Right now, and the temperature is falling fast. Shotgun from that distance? That's balls. So aggro. Yeah, I'm aggro. Uh -huh. So I like that. You know, either you stay for the fight. The day before is teeming with hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected. Ready to tear pieces. Yo, what the hell? So either you stay for the PvP fight and take your stuff. It seems he dodged a bullet. Now he's crafting a bandage. Or you just dip. Doesn't die from bleeding. Alright, so you can, that's cool, so you can craft. I like that. 
Dude, what is that? Yo, look at that. Nah, dude, why did my, yo, if my, play, if my, you know, my partner chose this type of stupid building, I go back downstairs. I'm like, you're dead, bro. You know, you feel me? But obviously, this is a script. They have to follow a script. All right. So, I mean, it is, you know, it's not ideal. I wouldn't go up to this type of building. If I would have saw this, I mean, I think I'm dead regardless, though, because it was an infected whore coming downstairs. So, yeah, this, is, this will be GG for me. <laughs> I'm dead. But, yeah, let's see. Dude, I love the interior. The atmosphere is great. Look at that. Look at that. It's, uh, it's great. And obviously noise makes, you know, makes aggro. But yeah, and yeah, boy is dead. <laughs> what the? I'm going to close him down. And then the whole freaking building goes after you. <laughs> But yeah, let's pause it there, guys. Um, what did I think about the trailer? I mean, it was great. Kind of cringy because, well, obviously, it's following a script. The communication between the guy and this guy, you know, it's just all pretty much, you know, written. So uh, it is what it is. But the only thing I, I'm not going to do is get my hopes high up because in, have you seen in every gameplay trailer we've ever seen in the past in the past year is, for example, Cyberpunk 2077. Looked great. The game looked amazing. And what happened? We got glitches, bugs, and all that type of stuff. So the same thing I'm going to do with this one is... I'm gonna take this with a grain of salt, this trailer, and I'll be waiting for it. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be free. If it's free, I'll be, I'll be damned. I'll be like, yo, what? This is free because the game looks absolutely terrific. If it's support, if it comes out like this, the graphics, the way, this, if it's open world, I'm pretty sure it's open world. The interiors, the aggro, the PvP. But uh, yeah, I liked it. I really did, to be honest. Uh, like I said, I really hope for PvP you don't have to fight them all the time because that, that'd be that'd be annoying i mean it'll be just it'll be just like daisy you know if someone finds you then they kill you then they take all your stuff that's like room skip i like that type of pvp i wish that frontier had that at some point in the frontier too where they have two types of pvp which is if you if you find him one you don't lose anything but if you want to take balls to the walls and say screw it i'm gonna risk it all and you know high risk high reward then you take that server but uh, hopefully again i really hope pvp is off because that would just be annoying sometimes you just want to explore the world and just have a good time and then maybe you know in another world in the you know day before you can join a different server which is hardcore which is you know if you die you lose everything and you gotta start over again but i hope there's two type of servers right but overall the game looks uh, you know it looks terrific all right i like this i like the the combat it looks it looks good i'm not gonna lie i mean the, the effects are great you know uh the bullets you know when the bullets uh you know interact with other things it also causes the uh, atmosphere or the environment around you to kind of react to that type of a uh, uh, collision so yeah it, it looks great I'm, I'm not gonna lie it does look great but uh i mean in terms of like when it's gonna come out i have no idea you know how are clans gonna be made how is the market gonna be it's gonna be membership i'm pretty sure there is uh how many outposts is it gonna be a small world hopefully not but by judging by the trailer i mean it looks like they've been working on this for quite some time but uh yeah, I mean, overall, I, I like I said, I'm a humongous fan of zombie games, so this just looks great, all right? Uh, when it comes out, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, and like I said, I hope they have two types, where one, I can just explore the world and have fun with different people, and the other one, if I want to go balls to the walls, I'll go to that server where if I get killed, I get killed, I lose everything, and I have to start all over again. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. But yeah, so I'm going to send out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little gameplay trailer tease. I, I did. I, I, quite, I, I mean, I did. It's pretty good. I, I'm, oh, I almost forgot to say the crafting. I didn't know you could craft. I mean, that, that seems pretty cool. See, crafting, splint, meds. I mean, I still, you can still see it's a work in progress. But Last of Us 2 and The Division, those type, those two games are kind of here. I feel like they took inspiration for that because this almost looks exactly like The Last of Us 2 because this almost looks like The Last of Us UI in terms of crafting and Days Gone. I don't know why. It just looks so similar. And then, of course, you know, The Division where the map just kind of looks just like that. See, right, really, right The Division. It's, it's, it took a lot of inspiration for those two games. I hope they don't hide it. They just say, hey, yeah, we, we did take, you know, inspiration from that. Yeah, we really did. <laughs> but yeah, guys, sorry for rambling on. But is there thing out? Hopefully this game comes out as you know as presented, but I, again I don't have my hopes that high because every time they show something like this, it comes out, it just has hundreds of problems, and the, either the game was just reduced even more, and it just becomes a failure. But hopefully, that, hopefully not this time. Oh, and before I finish this video, guys, we're gonna give a humongous shout out to Ahmad Sabab. I think that's how you say it, and he pretty much says if you want to get further in the game, you know, beyond 50 after you know my tutorial, just swipe your card. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, that's why I'm not gonna make a level 50 through 330 because at that point it's just 
either you spend money in the game and you get even further or you keep doing the free to play which is just loot 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 and eventually you'll get there slowly painfully but surely you'll get you the higher ranks but yeah if you want to get there faster you gotta swipe that credit card man just buy the gold membership and buy race cannon and just go for it screw it <laughs> but yeah guys this is pretty much it all right armando saying out take it easy bye <laughs>